Oh man, so we got Nick Saban criticizing Oregon's coach Dan Lanning for his viral rant right before playing the Colorado Buffs. Check this out and we'll come back with some light commentary, man. The Cinderella story is over, man. Right? They're fighting for clicks, we're fighting for wins. There's a difference. Right? There's a difference. Right? This game ain't gonna be played in Hollywood, it's gonna be played on the grass. Right? It's gonna be played on the grass. I understand what Dan Lanning was trying to say. And it was probably good for his team to hear in some ways, but it probably wasn't good for everybody else to hear. And, you know, that's always the argument. You know, where does the access, where do you draw the line and say, okay, there's got to be some time when you can talk to your team and say what you have to say, and it's really not for everybody else to hear. We don't know if Dan wanted it out or not. Coach Dan wanted it out or not. We have not heard from him. There's some people that say, yeah, he wanted that out. That's why... He was actually his good side. That's oh. what people were saying that that was actually his good side. That's why they put it out there. But my first instinct, as soon as I heard it, I was like, I wish I didn't get a chance to see. Like, that's him talking to his. Is that a conversation between who? Media and coach? Like, when's that decision made on if that goes out, especially in this modern world? Well, in the modern world, I think you can use the media to send a message to your team. I don't think you need to do that right before the game. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, that's something you do on Monday when you talk to the press or whatever, and you want to get a message out there because your team's going to hear that message. So you can reinforce it in a team meeting, but you, you want everybody to be thinking that way. And sometimes you want your fans to think that way too, so that rat poison doesn't get to them. All right, so we all know, man, uh, Dan Landon wanted that camera in there. He was asked, he said, sure, show them boys. But the main thing is his purpose was to embarrass Dion because he knew the squad that he had. Anybody that understands football, college football, they knew the dynamics of that game, especially if you've seen Colorado versus Colorado State. The defense was suspect. Colorado's defense is suspect. Their interior linemen are suspect. And with Colorado facing a team that won 10 plus games last year, of course, you're going to have a tough time with them returning a lot of starters, man. So the main purpose of the whole thing was to embarrass prime because you got to understand based on what prime has been doing with the media he has been recruiting like crazy in colorado and oregon they are battling for the same players over there on that west coast prime has been bringing in florida boys florida boys are doing most of the damage up there in colorado but if prime could tap into some of the top talent coming out of california you know that west coast over there man it's going to be an issue so a lot of coaches in that pac-12 especially want to go ahead and collude to destroy prime especially in the media where young recruits are watching and he wants to put his charisma up against prime man that's what he's doing but other than that do you agree with nick saban or do you understand what dan landing is doing to compete with prime of course he ain't as cool as that boy but he gotta do something gotta do something because like that boy say the colorado buffs are coming but let me know what y'all think in the comment section below i'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here though yo